The Learning Journey in association with Turn It Up Tuesday hosted by Ross Audio presents Did You Know? And this week we want to explore AI girlfriends, the implications and the possible consequences. Recently I came across a CNN report that got my attention. It was titled AI Girlfriends in Peril Generation of Young Men. In the news article, it mentioned a site called Cupid AI that allowed individuals to select an AI avatar and to interact with the avatar. You could customize the avatar, of course, and the avatar had a persona who was willing to learn about you. And of course, this avatar was geared to please you as an individual. According to one writer on the Hill, apps like these have created virtual friends that talk to you, love you, allow you to live out your life fantasies and learn from data creating the perfect relationship in all of our lives. When I heard this as a Jamaican, I said to myself, what sort of crosses is this one? Now, let us look at the critical point. Let us look at it. On one hand, they might have some emotional connections that gives them some level of comfort and, of course, a sense of belonging. Really, it might help them with their loneliness. The interactive nature of the AI could facilitate a relationship that is reciprocal, for isolated people, that is. But these connections will not improve to well-being, and that's the reality. However, when we look at it within an intimate setting, such as a relationship, there are negative impacts as it relates to human-to-human relationships and social coercion. The reality is that over-reliance on AI for emotional needs may crowd out the need for human interaction and physical intimacy. This might erode the importance of interpersonal skills. The immersive nature of avatar interactions might be highly addictive. We have seen the issue of addictive algorithm. I've done a video on that before. So let us look at it. AI relationships may raise tricky questions around users' perception as it relates to context, consent, and reciprocation. We have some issues taking place here that is not a human entity. And if you desire human entity output, we're going to have problems. Further, the promotion and normalization of AI intimacy as being conducted by some of these sites could accelerate the disconnection that we have in our society, leading to greater loneliness and, of course, horrific situations in our society. We cannot adopt this because if we adopt it, it will diminish our human connectivity. We have to understand the challenges and address these to ensure that we don't have problems that we cannot manage in the future. Balancing innovation with the positives against the risk remains an ongoing challenge for what we're doing here as it relates to AI. Let us look ahead. I am real saddened to realize that individuals would prefer to have an AI girlfriend than someone who is human. But we must understand that the intimate bond with an AI may become more commonplace gradually through the normalization and the addictive algorithms being used within this sophisticated technology. As immersive platforms like virtual and augmented reality comes into play, AI companion will be more embodied and of course, could become multisensory. Yes, this is somewhat annoying to think about. However, we must advocate for the need for real love and, of course, real life intimacy. While some might believe that AI personas care for them, this is far from the truth because an AI cannot love, it cannot hate, it just can connect you with the normal thoughts that you have given it. In concluding, let me say that this is not the norm. And I hope that they will not become the norm, but we have to ensure that we value personal relationships. We value the time we sit around a table, have lunch with our friends and, of course, our colleagues, and just enjoy meeting people. AI cannot replace the human entity that we have strived to develop over so many thousands of years. Let us not forget, to be human is to have intimate relationships and to communicate and to engage in conversations that we might not like as well as like. But overall, I see no to the AI intimate relationship. Let's get back to the basics and try to build upon the need for human connection 
that seem to be lacking as technology improves. Over to you, Rossi. <laughs> 